So uh, this year, summer holiday, we went to Malta, which is it's it's in Europe, but it's probably closer to Africa than than most of Europe. And it's this fascinating mix of of English culture, Italian, and some Arabic. So uh, what we have here is is some traditional Maltese traditional food foods jam, and some. Maltese alcohol, which I've got no idea if it's traditional or not. Um, so here we have we have some. If we're going close, we have some fig jam, some pomegranate jam, and prickly pe prickly. This is prickly jam, but I'm sure they're calling it prickly pear. In the market, and it's a type of cactus. Um, so you go here. So this is the fig jam, and, and that. I have to say, this isn't Maltese bread, it is normal bread, it's actually Danish bread. The Maltese bread is much more like French bread, but uh, a loaf. Uh, I have a recipe for it, but I haven't made it at all, so this isn't quite as authentic as it could be. So apologies for that. This is fig. And it, it smells like figs, and it's it's got the texture, and it, you know, it looks like jam. It's quite quite thick. That actually is very figgy, and this this is the pomegranate jam, and it's weird because pomegranate isn't that color. The seeds, okay, those are pomegranate seeds, but pomegranate isn't that color. I look at the label and look how red it is from the jar from these jars. You can't tell, can you? So, um, but but it should be much more red, surely. Um. It doesn't really have a smell. So let's try the the taste. It's not it it's sweet, it's quite nice, but whatever the taste is, it's not pomegranate. Um I think I had a look on the label. And and uh, when you look at when you look at the back here, you can see that the fig one is mainly fig, and the pomegranate is mainly sugar, which I suppose is why. And they all look grape and lemon, uh, which doesn't bode well for the prickly pear because that also is mainly sugar and then with, with but no grape this time, so it might be better. So prickly, I've never eaten an actual cactus. They had them on sale, and we just didn't bother buying any. <laughs> Um, but it's weird. It says jam. You can look at it. it's it's soaking the. It's like honey. It's it's very runny. It's not thick at all. And it really there's no smell at all. So does cactus have a should it have a smell when you split them open? I I've got no idea what to expect. It's almost melony. Should cactus be melony? I have absolutely no idea. So if we if we move this to one side, and move the jam to one side, you can see here we have these rather spectacularly coloured Morty's alcohols. If you go back to the jam where they were all brown, uh, here you can see that two of the three are red. Uh, which is a bit worrying because two of the three are the same flavours, apparently, as the brown flavours are meant to be. Um, so here you have carob. Carob and orange, it says. Uh, if you've never had carob, carob is something they really started pushing in health stores in the 80s as a healthy alternative to chocolate. And it's really not. My wife was saying it looks, it tastes a lot like azuki, red beans, that sort of, of, of flavour. Um... Which, if you've had red beans, it's very much not like chocolate. So this is carob and orange. And this is pomegranate. So that looks like pomegranate. This is the, the prickly pear. So 
So it smells it smells like rum actually. Huh. And uh you get the orange but not the carob. So it's a bit like uh that the, the French there's a French liqueur that's made from from oranges. It, it tastes like that. I can't remember the name. But it tastes like that. We've got a bottle in the kitchen. I should know what it's called. Mm. That's, yeah. I it, 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 At least there's no bitter taste to it. It doesn't burn going down. So it's not, it's not the worst alcohol I've ever had. And this smells, smell like, it, it smells like a, uh, cheap bubblegum which is not a, it's a worrying smell to have when you think you're going to have something some sort of fruity alcohol bubblegum okay that you can taste the pomegranate that really comes through that's good i like this i i would drink this well the bottles are quite small but i would drink more of this the carob I would give to, I wouldn't say friends, people that aren't acquaintances rather than friends, perhaps. Hmm, it really, it actually has a more of a bitter kick to it going down. It's not, it, it's not a smooth going down, but the pomegranate is there. And I think that's, that's the whole idea of drinking it is to get the pomegranate. And here with the prickly pear, and again, the prickly fair, the fruits look orange, and then the last one was brown, and this is, is ready pink, so I have no idea what to expect. And this, it's, it smells, again, it smells quite quite like bubblegum, but a bit thinner this time. So I, I don't know what to... Obviously, they're not very great at making these smell nice, but the text on the last one was not bad, so, so let's see how this goes. That is, oh, that is not good. That is really not good. Going back to the jam, this, this jam, that was more like a honey. Not bad. Mm. Definitely not bad. But this, this thing here, is, is just, ooh. It's like I'm drinking, especially with the colour, it's like I'm drinking some sort of kitchen cleaner. You know, the stuff you spray on to, to metal and wipe it down, it fizzes up and you wipe it down. That's, I'm not sure that this is actually for humans to drink. Oh, it's got a very soapy aftertaste as well, which is, oh, oh. Well, I guess that's, that's me not being not a fan of cactuses then. Okay. And that's it for now. Bye-bye.